Hey what's up guys this is again Showtime with MZ back with another video and in today's one I will be actually teaching you how to uh, reset your home screen layout to factory default so uh, this has been quite a requested video especially for the users of the iOS 18 because since it came out there are a bunch of features and uh, that this iOS 18 introduces but one of the main ones is that now applications as well as the widgets can be rearranged completely as you wish on your home screen so we don't really have to snap them to grid as you can see the widgets can be placed wherever as you want them to be placed like for example i want this widget to be placed here or maybe this icon of discord here or uber here they don't really have to be snapped to grid so this is of course a great update but it brings with itself many different complications including the fact that now maybe you have installed the ios 18 and you've changed, you played around with your icons, uh, you changed the arrangement of the apps on your home screen, but now you don't like it anymore and it looks as a complete mess and you want to get everything back as it was before, before you actually installed the iOS 18. And that is exactly what this video targets to uh, teach you. And just stick around till the end to find out how to reset your home screen layout. But before we start, of course, and by the way, iOS 18 also introduces this new great control center. As you can see, it can also be managed in many different ways. And so before you actually go ahead and reset your home screen layout, if you, of course, want to download iOS 18, just click the link in the top right corner on your screen and watch the video and then come back and watch this video. And also, just please feel free to click like, also subscribe down below so that you don't miss any future videos that might be appearing on my channel, including the iOS 18 new features, the tutorials, the technological videos, and way, way more. So yeah, just consider subscribing and let's just... Uh, make sure that this uh, home screen that looks kind of like a mess, a real big mess, can be actually fixed in a matter of a couple of seconds. So uh, let's don't waste time really anymore and let's begin with going to the settings application. Now, it, once you are already in the settings application, you're gonna go scroll down to general and as you can see right over here, due to the changes that the iOS 18 implements, the view of the settings, including the general tab is quite changed. So you might be quite confused, but don't be because you can just simply watch this video and reset your home screen layout. So you're gonna scroll almost all the way down until where it says transfer or reset iPhone right here, as you can see, and you will click on that transfer or reset iPhone. Now, here are many different options that you have. As you can see, you can also prepare for a new iPhone, make sure everything's ready to transfer to a new iPhone, even if you don't currently have enough iCloud storage to backup. That's not what we're gonna do. We're gonna actually tap the reset button as you can see at the bottom of the screen. So. Once you tap this reset icon, there are many different options that appear. And now here is when you need to be extremely careful because one misstep, one accidental tap on this screen might result in serious damage to your iPhone. Well, not real damage, of course, but I mean, you might reset something that you want, don't want to be reset at all. So here, of course, we have different options such as reset all settings, reset network settings, delete all eSIMs for the newer iPhone versions, reset keyboard dictionary, reset home screen layout, reset handwriting style, and reset location and privacy. Now, as you might have already guessed, the option that we need and that we want to tap is reset home screen layout It's one two three four fifth option on this list so you're going to just simply tap it reset home screen layout and it will of course give you the warning and uh, ask you once again if you want to really proceed with this action to be just absolutely sure it says your home screen will be reset to the default iphone layout downloaded apps will appear alphabetically after the first home screen page and app folders will be removed hidden apps will remain hidden 
So that's all that this uh, reset home screen layout button will give us. And let's just simply don't waste time and let's tap reset home screen. Now, once you've tapped it, you might think that nothing really changed. But once you get out of the settings application, you see that there are actually a bunch of changes that have happened. So first off that you might notice is that this customization feature actually changed nothing and it still remains as it was. So reset home screen does not affect that just as much as it doesn't affect the control center. But what it affects is the home screen layout. So as you can see now, all the applications are in a way that they were used to be once you purchased your Apple iPhone. So they are all reset to factory defaults, as you can see. Now, a very interesting thing here is that actually, if you really take a look at this uh, applications, first page, we just have two smart stacks of weather widgets, as you can see, uh, as uh, in the uh, time when you first purchased or bought the iPhone. Now we have the applications such as FaceTime, Calendar, and all the default applications as they come with the newer versions of the iPhone up until the tips application, as you can see right over here. And of course, we have the OG utilities folder, just in case. But after that, all of the applications that you had previously installed on your iPhone appear in an alphabetical order. So this aging booth, for example, it's A, so it's the first one. Then we have other applications such as Amazon or AliExpress, Apple Store. Then we have Bird for B. Then we have C for chess and all the applications basically are in the alphabetical order A to Z. And now, yeah, that's exactly how you really uh, reset your iPhone to a home screen layout to factory defaults. And one thing that I get asked multiple times whenever I post such video is that does it really reset anything else except the home screen layout? No, it absolutely does not. Only thing that has been reset to factory defaults is how the applications are arranged on your home screen, where this or that application is. Besides that, nothing is reset. Nothing is deleted. No application is deleted. No data from your iPhone is deleted. The only thing that is changed is that the arrangement of the apps on your home screen, the home screen layout is reset to factory defaults. And that's it. That's how you reset your home screen layout in 2024 with the new iOS 18. Now, thank you guys very, very much for watching. If you enjoyed this video and found it helpful, make sure to just click like and of course, subscribe down below so that you don't miss any future videos just like this. And I'll see you guys there. Bye.